Coast Combine, the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to the Sounders career, where we are still in the transfer window at the beginning of Season 2. I know we're going kind of th slow through this transfer window, it's just because I want to make sure we get this right, I want to make sure we're getting the right players in, and we're continuing to build our team successfully like we have been doing throughout this series. I don't want to rush through it and get the wrong players, and kind of hold ourselves back at all, so... I'm happy with how things are going so far. I'm still going to getting a left winger in this episode. I mentioned that last time. Um, I still have some inquiries out waiting to hear back from those teams. Once we get those inquiries back, they'll have a really good idea of who we're going to be able to afford, and we should be able to get ourselves a pretty decent left winger. But for now, we got a game against Stoke City on the road. They're 1-1 one one so far this season. Not, not too bad. Uh, they're in seventh place, but hopefully we can go on the road and get ourselves some points. So let's go. Here is our starting 11 for this game against Stoke. Uh, the only change in there is Ivancic is starting in place of Mastor, who is out with an injury for just a couple of weeks. I think he uh, sprained his ankle or something last episode. So Ivancic is going to get the start, and Udegaard is going to get a shot with the first team. He's going to be on the bench, available as a sub. So here we go. Kickoff at the Britannia. Um, Stoke is using the same defensive 4-5-1 formation that Swansea used uh, at the beginning of the season. And we did okay against them. So hopefully we can get some points here against Stoke City. I just have nowhere to go with it. There's Oba. Oba. Actually, use that space, Oba. Use your pace. Yes, Oba. Femi shoots. Butland makes the save. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot. Wasn't the greatest angle. But at least we got something on target. We're going to take this short. I wouldn't want Oba the one to be out here coming out here to get it, but that's okay. Ball in. There's the turn. It just, it works. There's no way that should work! What is it about that play that's so glitched that the ball just ends up in the back of the net no matter how you shoot it? No way that should have worked! Look at the terrible angle this ball was shot from! It was Ivanchitz on the turn and shoot from that... That was so bad! It was so um... Was it deflected at least? No, it just went underneath Jack Butlin. As if that's even a possibility. Whatever, we got the 1-0 lead. I'm not going to complain about it. I, I'm happy we've got the lead. Uh-oh. Man. Stokes? Wow! That was actually a shot on target. I was going to say, Stokes passing is giving me a lot of problems right now. They're moving it really quickly. And their movement off the ball is also giving me problems. But I, I wasn't expecting that shot to be that close. Oh, it gives him another chance. What a pass. What a miss from Ireland. Oh, it should be 1-1 one, one for sure. We got away with one there. That was poor, poor play for me. Another corner. Again, we're going to take it short. And I'm going to try this ball up here to Carrillo. Oh, that one's Guedes. Not as good at long shots, but Guedes very nearly got it far post over Jack Butlin. That was pretty good. Straight up the middle. Look at all the space. Goretzka. Oh, what a save from Butlin. That is like the first thing that has happened in the second half. This has been the single most boring half of football. They keep trying long over the top balls. I keep losing it in the midfield. Finally, something happened, though. We very nearly got our second goal. All right, we got a corner late in this game. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, there's nowhere to go. Oh, that's a good ball. There's a good pass. There's a man. It's Chad Marshall off the post. What a well-worked corner. How did we not convert that? He was wide open in there. Chad's got to put that away. Oh, no. Not that! Oh my god. Oh, he was off sides. He was off sides. It, that ball from out there, I cannot stop it. I tried to close it down, but I was just nowhere near it, and, and I couldn't do anything about it. That ball from that spot, it's impossible to stop. I hate that. There is the final whistle, and we come away from Stoke with a 1-0 victory. Still undefeated, though. That one was very, very sloppy, and we got a bit lucky with our only goal, but still... We put one in the back of the net, they did not, and we got all three points. Alright, we have an offer in for Alice Hirushka. I picked him up off the free agency last year um, when I needed a backup goalkeeper, and he did quite well. Um, I'm going to roll with Perkins, though, this year as my backup goalkeeper, so I'm happy to sell um, Hirushka on to Columbus, who has come in for him. Don't really care how much they give me, I just need some money in. I, every dollar helps right now when I'm trying to get this new left back. And now it is time for the second leg of our Europa League qualifier against Sturmgras. I'm actually going to simulate this one as well. This is going to be the road leg of this um, two-legged affair. We won the first one 2-0, so hopefully this reserve side can get another similar result. A 2-1 win. We move on past Sturmgras, Ayanacho, and Ledson getting our goals. 
All right, so the last player we're going to bring in in this transfer window, it's going to be Leon Bailey. He's only going to cost us $1.5 million and $6,000 in wages, so he's not going to cut in too much to what we have left, and we really don't have very much left at all. I'm about a million dollars short from being able to sign Jordan Ive. I really thought I was going to be able to get that deal done, but I just don't have the funds to do it. I'm just, I'm so close, but it's just not meant to be. I just, I cannot get that deal done. So it's going to be Leon Bailey. He can play striker and left and right wing, so he can play everywhere. That's why I really like him. He's got a lot of potential. Right now, he's just going to be a backup, though, and he fills a major need on this team. And speaking of Jordan Ibe, our next game is going to be at home against Liverpool. This is going to be the first big test for us in the Premier League. Arsenal's already played and won their game. They went back to the top of the table. If we win, we go back top. I would like to see that happen, but Liverpool's going to be a big test. So let's go. Here's our starting 11 for this big one against Liverpool. The full strength starting 11 is in there. Again, Ivan Schitz is in from our store. Still recovering from that injury. May be back by next game, though. He looks like he's on the mend. Coming along nicely. I, I think we can get at least something from Liverpool. I'd love to take some points off of them here. So here we go. Kickoff against Liverpool at Century Link Field. I didn't take a look at what their starting 11 was. I accidentally skipped that. So I'm assuming it's still going to be pretty much, from what I've seen, a pretty normal Liverpool starting 11. Ooh, Benteke. Whoa! That hit the crossbar! I thought that was going well over the bar. I thought that was going way over the goal. Wow. Okay, come on, guys. Let's get out of here. That's not where I wanted that to go, but that'll work. Nice move from Ivanchitz. Play Guedes through. We finally have an opportunity here. Guedes, go ahead. What? What? How in the world did I not get a shot off there? Oh, that cross. That was a dangerous one. Kim Sung Yu, though, it's just, he, you can't beat him. He's so good. Oh, Carrillo just did a nasty move. Somehow keeps possession. Still Carrillo into Oba. Oba Femi Martins puts it in the back of the net. We got the lead over Liverpool. 1-0 shortly before halftime. That was a great play from Carrillo. How he kept the ball up that wing, I don't know. And what a strike from Oba. No doubt about it. No keeper in the world is saving that one. Dead in the upper corner. No, that's the wrong player. Oh boy, I'm having trouble. Oh god. Oh no, it's Benteke. What a save from Kimmy. Man, what a save. That was a, just to the wrong player again. I'm having trouble passing to the right player at this point. And I've been giving the ball away for no reason. It's, it's pissing me off, but we're, we're holding on. Just barely. Lord Ball in. Oh, what a save from Kimmy. What a freaking save. Get, get rid of the ball. Get rid of the ball, Blin. Yes. There we go. Play the ball up to Guedes. Guedes has actually been very good in this game. Still going. Come on, Guedes. Come on, Guedes. Get a shot off. Guedes puts it in the back of the net. There's no way to defend that. We just, we were all over him. We got the late counterattack. They pushed numbers forward. And we punished them. And it's going to come out as a 2-0 victory, I think, over Liverpool. What a game we played. And there is the final whistle straight after kickoff. A 2-0 victory over Liverpool. I will take that any day of the week. And we are still undefeated in the Premier League. How are we doing this? And here are the stats from that game. I just wanted to show you, it's not like we're dominating the game. Not by any means. We only had two shots on target that game. We just happened to put them both in the back of the net. And I've always been very, very good at defense. I think we've only given up one goal so far this season. So it's opportune goal scoring along with a very solid back line. And Kim sung Yu has been incredible in this season. I'm not going to take anything away from him. Sometimes my defense does fall apart. That will happen. But he's bailed me out a lot this season. So, um, and, and also, tactically, I've been very good with my tactics so far. Knowing when to go high pressure, when to fall back, when to go offensive, when to go defensive. It's, been, it's just been a perfect storm of results for us, and tactics have been perfect, and I absolutely love this team. Every player on this team, I really, really love. I just, I've never had this much fun playing with any team in any FIFA, so I'm very happy with where this team is at right now. Alright, the last game of this episode is going to be another simulation. We're on the road at West Brom. I don't like simulating road games, but West Brom's in 18th place. So we're going to go ahead and simulate this thing. Our full strength starting 11 is in there, including Mastor, who is back from injury. So hopefully we can put in a good performance. We do take the loss. 2-1. Goretzka got on the board. We gave up a penalty, though. Man, that sucks. Our, our perfect record is gone in the Premier League, but 
Not too upset about that. Still a pretty decent performance on the road. All right, that is going to do it for the games in this episode, though I quickly want to let you know we have made it through to the EuroLeague group stage, and here is our group. Obviously, Lyon is going to be a tough ask for us. They're much, much better than we are, but I think we have a really good chance against the other two teams there. I'm pretty sure we can get through this group, or at least have a very good chance of doing so. And here's one last look at the Premier League table. Dropping points to West Brom really hurt us. I mean, it hurt it hurt my ego more than anything. We, we lose our perfect record in the Premier League. We fall to second place. If I had played that game, I'm pretty confident I could have gotten something from it, at least a point, with the way that I've been playing with this team. But unfortunately today, I'm just out of time, and I don't have any more time to play more games. So that it is what it is. Second place is not bad for this team. I'm, we're far exceeding expectations once again. i got to learn to not underestimate this team. But that is going to do it for this one. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back with some more Sounders career. See ya.